guys welcome back i hope you're all having a great day today's video we are going to talk about our storage shed i told you in the last video that we were working on assembling a storage shed and i want to thank patty ol for sponsoring today's video so let's go have a look here we are I'm so excited that we have it finished. It's a super cold and windy day here in Kentucky, so I'm filming inside the shed because the wind is blowing so much outside. You couldn't really hear me very well. So, I'm sure you've all heard me say many times that our biggest challenge in our small home is storage. With this new patio well shed, I can now store and organize all of our seasonal home decor and other items which are taking up much needed space inside our home. As you can see, I've already started moving things in. Today is moving day. <laughs> all of these totes are now here in this wonderful shed. A lot of this stuff was actually down in my parents' storage building, so I'm giving them back their space and moving it all right up here beside our house now so that I don't have to plug it back and forth. We have fall decor, Christmas decor, um, just random stuff that needed to be stored. Got my big suitcase out here that takes up so much room because this thing is very large. This has our Christmas tree in it. All of this paint was in my bedroom closet, so I've got it out here along with some other things. Many of you know what it's like living in a small home. Our home is only 14 by 52. Two bedrooms with two small closets. No hall closet or any of that. Just two little closets. <laughs> Not even a linen closet. So having an extra storage space is gonna be so beneficial to us. Like this stuff is extra decor that was in my second bedroom in that closet. I have more stuff that I'm gonna pack up. I just have to get some more totes. I feel like I'm gonna have an actual office now and it's not gonna be a storage room, which is what it has felt like. Um, it's just a great thing that I am so thankful to have. So let me talk to you a little bit about this storage shed from Patio Well. They so kindly sent me their 10 by 8 metal storage shed. I really appreciate the fact that this shed has wider doors and a higher roof than similar products of the same size, making it easier to store those larger items. As you can see, there's plenty of headroom here. I'm not bumping my head or anything. So I have plenty of room in here to walk around, even on the lower end. And I'm 5'10". There's plenty of room in here. This shed also features four air vents, which not only let in light, but it also helps with air circulation. The air vents are great because you can work inside if you want to do, or maybe you want to put like a potting bench in here and pot flowers and things like that. Um, there will be good circulation, good airflow, so you won't get stuffy inside. This roomy high capacity shed will keep your backyard looking tidy. You can move in all of those garden tools, lawn mowers, weed eaters, ladders, garden hoses, um, lawn products like your weed killers, and all of that stuff can be stored in your patio well shed. So, you know, how great is that to have everything all in one spot? You're not running all over the yard or all through the house trying to find stuff that you need. It just makes life so much easier. I love that this storage shed is waterproof and durable. The sloped roof design allows rainwater to run off quickly and prevents gathering. The triangular shaped roof structure ensures high stability so that you don't have to worry about damage from windy and rainy days. Patio Well is kindly offering you guys an exclusive coupon for 10% off. It's gonna be good for three months. I'm gonna have all the information listed below in the description box. They have a variety of sizes and storage sheds and other products. So be sure to check out their website. I can't say enough how thankful I am for this extra storage space. It is gonna help us out so much. It's just amazing. I'm so excited. Somebody in the comments said, I've never seen anybody so excited about a storage building. Trust me, if you lived in a small space as we do with such little storage, you'd be excited too. <laughs> so come along with me and let's take a look back at where we started. I wanted to share our experience of assembling this shed just in case you decide to order one for yourself. The first thing you will need to do is decide on what type of floor you want for your shed. This shed does not come with a floor, so you have a few choices. A few of the most common are concrete and wood. The company said you could also put this on your lawn without a floor if you wanted, but I would recommend finding a way to secure it to the ground. Our shed came in four different boxes. Um, I'm sure it depends on the size of building that you purchase. 
It came with this instruction manual and I'll show you some examples of the pages as we go along. The first step was to assemble the frame and attach it to the wood floor. And then we had to work on putting up the sides. That is step five. This is what it looks like in the instruction manual. I feel like it's very important with this shed to follow the instructions and go step by step and don't try to get ahead of yourself. Um, we're gonna attach the, these corners to the metal frame using the screws provided. They do provide all the hardware that you need along with gloves because some of the pieces could have some sharp edges. So make sure you be very careful and don't cut yourself. You definitely want to have help assembling this shed. We had three to four people working on it at all times. There are a lot of pieces, so pack your patience <laughs> because it does take time. There are a lot of pieces. There are a lot of screws, and you just need to be prepared to take your time and work together to get it assembled. I was kind of in charge of the instructions on getting the pieces ready to be put on, having everything in order and telling them where it went. There's also a lot of little washers that have to be put onto the screw. So you can see Shelby here is getting those ready and handing them to my brother as he's putting them on. My dad is behind here holding the metal up for him. So we really had to work as a team to get this done and to get it done as quickly as we could. We would pick the coldest, windiest day to put a shed together. <laughs> Most of the shed was relatively easy to put together. There were some parts that were a bit complicated. The instructions are mostly like illustrations, pictures that you look at with, um, it tells you which parts to put together. There's not a lot of writing, written instructions. So a few of the parts were a little difficult to figure out. It took us a few minutes. We had to look at it closely to make sure we were doing it correctly. Having fun yet? Yeah. How about you? Yeah. <laughs> a good job starts with a good foundation. <laughs> My dad was bragging on himself a little bit here because he's the one that built the floor, the foundation. So he did a really good job. I'm thankful that he did that for us. We got three walls. We still gotta get the front and the roof. And the doors. <laughs> when you're taking your parts out of the box, you may think that the metal is scratched, but it's actually a layer of plastic that they put on here, and that protects it during shipping, and it also protects it when you're putting the shed together. Move. I'm sorry. The two go on the left, or the three go on? The We got all of the sides put up and now it was time to start working on the roof. These pieces here that go on the front and back with the vents in them are a thin metal. So be very careful when you're taking them apart. They're, they're shipped like nested within each other. And when you pull them apart, it's very easy to bend them. So just be as careful as you can to make sure you don't damage them. Now it's time to put the framing up for the roof. You're gonna have one beam down the center and then one on each side. These instructions were a little complicated. We did put it on backwards at first and then had to go back and redo it. Once you get the roof supports up, then you're gonna start attaching the metal sheets. These are numbered and they do go in a certain order, so be sure you're following the instructions. Um, a step ladder was needed and it was very helpful for somebody to hand the metal up to my brother as well as handing him screws and made it go much quicker. Make sure that all of the sheets are lined up and match, you know, on each end. That's very important. Make sure you're getting the holes all lined up. Some of them were not quite um, lined up correctly, so that could be an issue. Just keep an eye on that. My sister and brother-in-law showed up about this time and my little nephews were out here very curious about what was going on. We're, we're building a building. It's double trouble. You too. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> At this point, almost everybody in the family had had some part in putting this building together and even the little ones here are trying to pull this plastic off for me. You can get that. I'm getting the pie. 
can you get the top? Sadly, they lost interest pretty quickly, so I'll be pulling plastic off for the next who knows how long. I was trying my best to help out and keep things going smoothly while at the same time remembering to film and capture the process so that I could share it with you guys. Um, but we're making good headway here. We've got one side of the roof done and my brother is starting on the other side. You do about half of the roof on the right side and then leave an opening so that you can attach the centerpiece on the outside. We ended up having to call it a day early because just as we got the last piece on the roof, it started to rain. So we had to call it quits for the day. My dad covered up the front of the building because we hadn't yet got the doors on to keep the rain out. And we're going to start again the next day. All right, my little bro just got here. It's time for day two on the storage shed. So this is where we left off yesterday. Uh, we got everything done except for the door and some stuff that needs to be finished up on the roof. So hopefully it won't take too long. It's freezing outside and it's supposed to rain today. So we're hoping to get it wrapped up. Let's get started. While my brother got busy finishing up the things that needed to be done on the roof, there were some more screws that needed to be put in. Shelby and I worked on assembling the doors for the front of the shed. This process was fairly easy. You just put on the metal strips all around the door and then there is some beams that go across um, that form an X when the doors are put together. Once we got the doors assembled and the hardware put on, my brother was finished with the roof. So he came over and attached these to the front of the shed. We're wrapping things up here, putting on the second door. Thankfully, um, we got everything finished and it didn't rain. We were, I was really worried about getting rained out again on this second day and we really needed to get this project completed. So thankfully the rain held off. I like that you're able to lock one of the doors if you wanna keep one shut with these little, I don't know what you call these things, <laughs> but there's one on the floor and then one up at the top and then you can pull them down and lock them and then, either have both doors open or just one. A big thank you to my family for helping out with this shed. Everybody worked so hard on it, especially my dad and my brother. And Shelby was such a big help as well. Um, I couldn't do half of the things that we do around here without them. So I'm so thankful to have such a great family that helps me out with so much. What do you think, girl? You like the shed? You like it? Huh? It's a good shed, huh? Yeah, we like it. I think the shed is Bonnie approved. So I've ordered some metal shelving to go in here so that I can organize everything. I'm all about things being organized and I can get everything up off the floor. Um, I can store all the things that are in my house, like all of my tools, drills and hammers and nails and all of that that I have just shoved in random places. So in the next video, hopefully the next video, if they come in time, um, we'll be organizing everything in here. I would also like to get some shelving for these totes. Um, that way I don't have to uh, stack and unstack them every time I need to get something out of them. They each have their own shelf. That's a goal. We'll see if that happens or not, but that is a plan that I hope to accomplish. I've already got a few gardening things in here. Once I get some shelving put up along this wall, I can really organize all of my stuff, my paints. and It's very important to me to keep it organized and neat so that I can come in here and find whatever I want. All of my extra home decor is going to be in here. So if I'm going to change out the seasons and everything, be able to come in here and find everything easily. So I'm going to make sure to keep it, as I said, nice and neat. And I don't know why it makes me so happy, but it does. <laughs> Good morning, Tammy. Good morning, Steph. How's it going? Wonderful. Are we ready for our Sunday song? I'm going to try. What are we going to do today? What a day that will be. What a day that'll be. Well, that's a good one. There is calm in the day when no heartache shall come. No more clouds in the sky. No more tears to dim the eye. All is peace forevermore. All Glorious day. 
Today is the day of salvation. You can be saved right at this moment if you ask the Lord. Amen. So, think about that. Thanks for singing along, friends, and I hope you come back next week and sing with us one more time. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you're interested in getting a storage shed of your own, be sure to check out Patio Well. Their information, again, is in the description box below.